So today, folks, we've got a pretty fun one because it's the Dallas Cowboys. And although um, although there aren't a lot of picks, which kind of stinks, I mean, it helps me in my, my time management. But the one thing I love about it is the biggest video I've ever had, the, the most views I've ever got was from a Cowboys seven round mock because Cowboys fans are just out of this world. I mean, they're, they're, they're nuts, man. There's so many of you guys and you're passionate and you love your team. And I love that. I know there's some, some, some whatever between Packer fans and Cowboys fans, but there's no question. The fan base is, is just out of this world. So I'm excited and I'm hopeful that we're going to get some positive reviews. And I'm sure if this draft sucks, you're all going to let me know. And that'll be fun too. But the other reason I'm excited is because what we're doing here today, if you haven't been watching my last couple videos is I'm piggybacking off of my first round mock draft link will be over here somewhere. Um, and this is the first team that actually engaged in a trade. So the cool thing about this, usually when you do trades in the first round, everybody's always just mad as, unless you trade up because it's like it's not worth anything. You trade it back for a second round pick that doesn't exist because it's a mock. It's fake. So I just lost my pick for nothing. That was stupid. This time, that's not the case. The Dallas Cowboys trade back. We picked up another second round pick. I believe we went from, let's see, one, two, three, from fourth to ninth. Um, I believe that's the case. We made the draft, and we'll go over that. We also picked up pick number 40, so we got two second-round picks. So we get to do all that. That's kind of, that's the fun in all this. Um, but anyways, that's what we're doing today. Super excited to come back and, and uh, hang out with the Dallas Cowboys fans. Who I'm gonna get 500 views on this stupid video now, just because I'm running my mouth thinking it's gonna be big. But I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm excited about it. So let's get started. So in the first round, let me preface this, the Dallas Cowboys accepted a trade from the Detroit Lions who traded up to get quarterback Trey Lance, quarterback out of North Dakota State. The Cowboys went back to pick nine and in doing so picked up the Lions number 40 overall pick. And with the ninth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Micah Parsons, linebacker, Penn State. It's kind of a disappointment to see um, that uh, Leighton Van Der Esch hasn't been, I mean, his rookie year was out of this world, and it just hasn't really been that great. The defense as a whole is completely imploded. I know there are other extenuating issues, but I'm, I'm genuinely excited about the, not as a Packer fan, but as an NFL fan, the potential trajectory of the, the Dallas Cowboys because the roster is just stacked. People just don't know what to do with it. The one area that does need some improvement, though, is the defense. There are some pieces that are needed there. Micah Parsons was the best available player. Absolute freak. I'm not usually a big fan of taking linebackers early, but I think is for the Dallas Cowboys, this is one of those things that's going to give us the biggest immediate jump right out of the gate with uh, run defense, which is obviously an issue, but also in terms of coverage because he's very good at that as well. He's, he's another one of those just freakish guys who has a body and an ath a level of level of athleticism that most human beings just don't have. So um, with the ninth pick, we're going Micah Parsons, linebacker out of Penn State. With the 37th pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Andre Sisco, safety, Syracuse. So I don't know that this is necessarily top of my mind, but I know the Dallas Cowboys have been desperate for getting another safety in the building for quite some time now. In addition to that, I would argue that probably your best safety is Woods, but the problem is he's due a contract. In other words, if we don't pay him, he's not playing this year. Um, but he's also kind of mediocre. So do we try to lowball him so that we can keep him? And then we got him and Andre Sisco kind of hopefully pairing off as a, a pretty decent duo. Or do we just replace him with Andre Sisco? And then we still have another safety and a, I should say a pile of safeties behind them that are just not very good. Whatever. That's a separate discussion for a separate video. I'll let you decide that. You can make that decision. But uh, we do need help on the defense. As I said, we do need help at safety. So Andre Sisco is going to come in out of Syracuse and help to further solidify this defense. With the 40th overall pick, thanks to the Detroit Lions in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Eric Stokes, cornerback, Georgia. I was kind of hoping we wouldn't have to do this. I've been pretty optimistic about the potential for guys like Chidobe Awuzie and Jordan Lewis to eventually step up and become pretty solid corners. It kind of looked like last year that was going to be the case. It does no longer look that way. Um, none of them have really provided all that much. We got Reggie Robinson in the fourth round of 2020. He hasn't even set foot on the field. Um, we, we, uh, we, we did get Trayvon Diggs in the second round, who's currently on IR. He hasn't really done a ton. Um, in terms of 
make, giving us confidence that he's going to be a really good football player. But at the very least, we bring in this guy. We hope and pray that Trayvon Diggs is going to become a better corner so that we have a pretty good duo. But at the very least, we got to get better at this. You can't go into a season as good as I expect the offense to be, and that's kind of a separate discussion. Um, but I mean, you, you guys are stacked offensively. You got to get rid of Mike McCarthy and, and you know figure out a better offensive-minded person to captain that. But the talent is there. But from a defensive standpoint, as good as the offense is and as good as I expect them to be going forward, and clearly you can tell by the way I'm drafting this, we're not getting rid of our quarterback. Uh, we're, we're sticking with our guy. He's one of the better quarterbacks in football. There's really no doubt about that in my mind. Um, you can't field a team without corners. And right now we just don't have any quality corners. So we're going Eric Stokes, cornerback out of Georgia. With the 68th pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Josh Myers, offensive center, Ohio State. So I just bragged up the offense uh, quite a bit. The one big complaint that I had is when you guys had this elite dominant offensive line, there was no stopping you. You guys allowed that to erode to the point where the offensive line is becoming the biggest detriment to the team by basically just letting the really good guys disappear and not replacing them. Um, at the very least, we're going to go out and get a guy like Josh Myers in the third round. It's the last pick we have until the sixth round. I know that we just got Tyler Biotish. I'm not saying he has to go away. He hasn't been very good, but at the very least, we need interior offensive linemen. We got Biotish. We now have Josh Myers. We have a ton of tackles on this team, but not a lot of guards and centers. So we're just going to pile up guards and centers, try to get the best three together in terms of left and right guard and center. To, to put together a competent offensive line because there's still some really good pieces, but that's all it is anymore is really good pieces and a bunch of question marks and some actually pretty bad players. And um, we can't continue to let the really good guys leave and not replace them. Having a dominant offensive line is going to make the, a massive difference in the potential of this offense from being what I think could potentially be, when you look at the quarterback, wide receivers, et cetera, et cetera, one of the best offenses in football, or a disaster because you can't keep your quarterback on his feet and you can't run the ball or use this top-tier running back because he has nowhere to go. So, Josh Myers, center out of Ohio State. With the 169th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Ben Cleveland, offensive guard, Georgia. So, again, I, I basically said all I had to say when I looked at Josh Myers. We're taking another swing at it. I know you want more and more and more and more defense. I get that, but... Um, Again, I, I think this is a, a Super Bowl contending team as soon as you find a competent coach. That's the bottom line. Um, the defense, you know, hopefully we can go out and, and, and maybe find a couple pieces in free agency despite the, the money issues. Maybe we can't. I don't know. But um, I really just want to make sure that this offense is what it needs to be. And I think the offensive line is important. And I wish we had more picks. I mean, again, we don't have a fourth round or a fifth round pick. We had to wait until the sixth round. But again, we don't have a lot of interior offensive linemen. We don't have a ton of talent either. So I'm, I'm really going to, I'm acting like I just put five picks into this. It's only two. We just don't have very many, but um, we're going to get it fixed. And we're going to make sure that this is a really, really good, uh, continues to be a really good offensive line and doesn't become basically what happened to the Eagles, right? Eagles have given up 34 sacks on the season. The next highest, the Dallas Cowboys have given up 19. Right, that was a dominant offensive line that is now a laughing stock. You don't want to be the Eagles. Draft Ben Cleveland. You're welcome. With the 196th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Trey Dean, cornerback, Florida. So yeah, we're going another cornerback. Again, I know this is the problem with not having a lot of picks, and, and you're welcome for getting you that additional second. But we took two swings at, at interior offensive line, two swings at corner, uh, three swings at DB. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff that got left on, on the table. But, um, again, he's a pretty unlikely starter. But you never know. I mean, you got undrafted free agent cornerbacks all over this league that are doing a really good job. we got to take multiple swings at this. we got to get better corners. Hopefully, Eric Stokes can be a good corner. Hopefully, at the end of this, we've got solid enough corners. Because if we do, we've got a decent enough offensive line, a, a top-five quarterback, possibly the best wide receiver group in the NFL, not duo. It would have to be a trio because that belongs to Minnesota, obviously. But when you look at the full group of it, um, a top-tier running back, you've got uh, an improved linebacker, 
to help come in with that again coverage as well as run defense you've got a still got a premier pass rusher it would have been nice to come in and maybe get him uh, somebody to pair off to that side of course a defensive tackle would have been nice again lacking picks and also I'm trying to do value if there's no defensive tackle I'm not going to go out to pick you know 230 at pick 196 just because you want a defensive tackle I just don't operate that way but uh, hopefully got the cornerbacks improved the safety position improved and then when you look at all the pieces put together again the biggest thing really is going to come down to coach and, and, and whatnot and and knowing what to do with the actual pieces unlike what you have had the last couple of years. But if you can find that competent coach, there's enough pieces here to really take a really good swing at a Super Bowl. Not saying you're Super Bowl favorites, but at the very least, this should be easily a playoff team, especially when you consider the rest of your division. Holy cow. Anyways, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video if you actually like the video. If you didn't, please leave any comments because I'm going to be doing more uh, mocks. I'm sure there's going to be at least one more Cowboys mock draft. So any comments, concerns, and whatnot, put it in there. I will take that into advisement next time. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time.